Yeah, back on with this uh, Edwardian um, lamp. Somebody uh, told me a bit more stuff about it. They said 1914, and uh, I do believe when it was listed, it was listed at 1913. So I'm going to try and do a better uh, so you can see more. It's brinsier, I believe. But yeah, if I can move you over. Yeah, see, we've got this. There, it goes out of the way. There. Just turn it that way, it's safer. I'll just go and get my gauge and then I can let you know some things. The inside tube is 17.8 and what I, I did, turn that off a minute, and what I did is uh, I watched some videos on uh, some American people with lamps and you see this one here, I picked this one up from France and it looks similar because Inside, um, it's got a flame spreader. It's got a flame spreader like this, and um, these both need a new wick. I know that. And what happens is you get the tulip effect light off these lamps. So I thought I'll get this one to see if I can find one for this. And then what I did is I just pushed this together a little bit, so it opened it up a bit. And I managed to get this to fit in there. But then when it heats up it falls in. So what I do is I wrap a thin piece of um, tin foil around there. And then I get it set up. And then I get like the tulip effect on this one. Um, I'll see if I can give you a demonstration of it. I'll wind the wick up a little bit. But this 100% needs a brand new wick, it's um, I've never seen one so bad. So if I screw this back on, see it needs to come higher. Take that out for now. Put this in. That's on. Then this. No. Let me go and look at the other lamps. It might be that one. 
Let me not see any other one. Let me just see. Nah, I think what I did is I made um wrapped a wider piece of tin foil so it was longer because I had this sticking up a little bit and it's not I'm not doing that now but I think I need some sort of flame spreader. This one goes in there. If I um But like I say, they both need um, both need new wicks. Just leave that to you. Up. And this one. But yeah, if I can get a flame spreader. Or yeah, if I can get a flame spreader for it, then we end up with a tulip like this. See, it's probably not showing very well. They call that the tulip. Yeah, this one. But I'll be okay with it like this because they do make um, lamps with um, just a round wick with no spreader in it. But putting a spreader in there would make the flame look like this one. On the turning wheel here, it has a star on there. Then on the cap get you a close up that's the cap and I did try and uh, find the the Pimco oil lamps that's what it sort of came up at under turn that down a little bit. Now see if I can get you a picture of the uh, there you go and it's a star with a P in it so I hope you can help us with this lamp and then we can find out a bit more about it but I'm sure it was listed in uh, a fine Edwardian lamp 1913 um, but yeah, turn this one down a little bit. There's your tulip. You can't really see it with the light. Um, but there's a, it gives a tulip sort of look. It's really nice. I just need um, one of these to put um, one of these on. That would be great. But yeah, this came from France. This one is um, get that on there. Hope you 
you can see that all right at number 15 matador number 15 Okay, I hope that's helped, and uh, yeah, I hope you can help us out with this Edwardian lamp. But on here, here, it did on the uh, Pimco site that I found. It had the uh, a piece of wire come up, and it had like a little hook on it. And like you said, a mantle sat on the top of there. So, but I would think you would need a flame spreader for that because that's out the Aladdin, the Aladdin lamps I've got that takes the uh, mantle. Let's put that on. Yeah, nice lamps. Turn it down a little bit more. When this one came, it had a really tiny chimney, um, and this was just getting far too hot. So I found um, a, a wider chimney, and it's been uh, working fine ever since. But yeah. bits so you can't really see it but yeah thank you for watching